Kinshasa. It is time that we call these people and tell them enough is enough and they must stop. Yes. Mr. Speaker, sir, it is such a moment when we are given an opportunity to reflect on the things that are happening in this country that we ask ourselves, are some of these people serious? Naam, hujambo na karibu tena mtazamaji wangu mahali popote ulipo. Niombi na matumaini yangu kwamba hubweri wa hafya na Mwenyezi Mungu anaendelea kukulinda. Karibu nikufahamisha yale ambayo yanaendelea kutokea hapa nchini Kenya. Mtazamaji mambo yameanza kuchemka upande wa Kenya kwanza. Huyu ambaye anaenda kukuwekea video yake ni seneta wa kaunti ya Nyeri ambaye ni seneta wake naibu wa rais Rigathi Kashagwa ambaye anasema kwamba enough is enough hii serikali sasa mahali ambapo inaelekea ni mahali pabaya huyu si seneta wa uh, ODM sio seneta wa azimio la umoja ni si seneta wa UDA tena ni seneta wake naibu wa rais Rigathi Kashagwa kutoka uko kaunti ya Nyeri kwanza msikilize hata kabla hatujaendelea kuzungumza zaidi indeed people like Lawrence Sifuna Jido Matiba, Charles Lobia, and the rest did shape the history and the destiny of this country. Mr. Speaker, sir, in the spirit of the demise of uh, Lawrence Sifuna, who has been uh, fortunately survived by a very strong politician in name of Edwin Sifuna, with whom I sit in one committee, his commitment to rebuild this country, irregardless of the party position he holds, Mr. Speaker, sir, is something that we as senators are very proud of. Mr. Speaker, sir, having said that, it is also indeed very important that we note there are politicians who need to learn from the likes of Roland Sifuna. Those who wait until the president is out of the way, out of the country, and then they list national assets and put them for sale. Mr. Speaker, sir, we want to urge these leaders who sit near the, the, the high offices that it's important to note that it cannot and we cannot accept them to put such an important national heritage like the, KC, the KICC for sale. Mr. Speaker, sir, I want today to add my voice. I want to join the likes of uh, Lawrence Funa. I want to join the likes of uh, uh, Koigo Amwere, that we cannot let a few people take, the, take it for granted that they can do or live what they want to do in this country. Mr. Speaker, sir, it is becoming quite unfortunate that a few individuals, Mr. Speaker, sir, whom we've worked with so hard and promising the Kenyans that we'll ensure the cost of living comes down. Mr. Speaker, sir, instead of them working with us in tandem, they are going and auctioning anything that they can lay their hand on. This we must stand as a house and oppose. Mr. Speaker, sir, today I want to stand in the same spirit of Lowland Sifuna and say this country belongs to all of us. They cannot take our parents so many years to put things where they are today, and then we get to here, Mr. Speaker, sir. People bought edible oil that is toxic. They spent billions of shillings. This cannot be sold. Mr. Speaker, sir, it is time that we call these people and tell them enough is enough, and they must stop. Mr. Speaker, sir, it is such a moment when we are given an opportunity to reflect on the things that are happening in this country, that we ask ourselves, are some of these people serious? Mr. Speaker, sir, just the other day, I led a statement from none other than one of our colleagues who's been sitting in this house, a Minister of Infrastructure and Transport, saying that centers, cars that have been bought by hustlers, that they should be banned from the road. Mr. Speaker, sir, I ask, are we losing our senses, Mr. Speaker, sir? When must we realize that we must work for Kenyans? Mr. Speaker, sir, in the same spirit of Lawrence Sifuna, I want to tell Kenyans that yes, we must stand up and we will not let anybody take advantage of you. We are going to pursue justice until we bring it to the logical conclusion. Because this is the spirit, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker sir, when we are gone like Lawrence Sifuna is gone, we want somebody to study in this out and say he stood as a senator and stood for the justice of the people. I start to be counted as those who will fight for the justice of the people, illegal regardless of the people who are pushing and waiting, only when the president is away of the country, they put national assets for sale. It is inacceptable, Mr. Speaker, sir, and I urge my colleagues to stand up and oppose this. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. 
So mtazamaji huyo ni seneta wa kaunti ya Nyeri, ni seneta wa UDA, uh, sio seneta wa Hazimio la Umoja na sio seneta wa Raila Odinga. Huyo ni seneta wake William Samoi Harap Ruto, uh, ni seneta wake Rigathi Kashagwa kwa sababu hata ni seneta kutoka Om County yake Rigathi Kashagwa ambayo ni Nyeri County. Na mnamsikia wazi anasema kwamba hawatakaa wanyamaze kwa sababu eti wao ni wa UDA wakiona wa Kenya wakinyanyazwa kwa sababu ya alingumu ya maisha ambayo inaendelea diwa hawataka wanyamaze waone KICC Kenya Pipeline na zingine zikiuzwa na kwa sababu wao wako UDA wanyamaze lakini pia akasema kwamba hawataka waone wa Kenya wakipewa mafuta ambayo wako na sumu ha, kwa sababu wao wako UDA na hawamenyamasa kwa hivyo hii inatuonesha wazi kwamba watu ambao wako ndani ya serikali ya Kenya kwanza sasa hivi wameanza kufunguka macho wale viongozi na wameanza kuongea kile ambacho kiko kwa akili yao unajua uh, wamefumilia kwa muda mrefu unajua wamefumilia kwa zaidi ya mwaka moja na nusu sasa na sasa hivi ndiyo tumeanza kuona wameanza kuzungumza sio yeye peke yake kuna hata didi mazibaraza kuna wabunge wengi hata wa Kenya kwanza ambao wanaendelea kulalamika jana uliona pale Sen, uh, national assembly pia wabunge wa Kenya kwanza walilalamika na wakamtoa osoro nje lakini pia waka mm, wakao wana mm, echo huyu ambaye anajulikana kama nani huyu mm, majority leader Kimani Chungwa akawa anapigiwa kerele kabisa na wabunge wa Kenya kwanza pamoja na wabunge wa Azimio la Umoja. Kwa hivyo sasa hivi viongozi wameanza kufunguka macho na kuona kwamba William Ruto tukimwacha hivi inaonekana kama kabla ya mwaka na saba hatakuwa ametupeleka mahali pabaya kabisa na huenda tusiwe na inji kama Kenya kama tutamwacha William Samoei Ruto kwa sababu atauza kila kitu. Eh? Asubuhi nimeona pia sijui kuna kitu anataka kuuza sijui anataka kuuzia Sijui ni, ni kuna jambo ambalo nimeona nataka kuuza sijui eka kumi na elfu kumi na moja hmm? kubwa kuliko national Nairobi National Park hmm? so William Samoe Ruto tukimwachia hivi tu vile uh, anaendelea bila shaka kabla ya mwaka na saba atakuwa ameuza vitu mingi sana hapa Kenya na atakuwa ameipeleka taifa la Kenya mahali pabaya hata nimeona pole ni Joroge ameuliza tu swali kama vile mambo yanaendelea sasa hivi kama William Ruto ndiyo angekuwa rais kutoka 2013 mpaka 2022 Kenya ingekuwa imeachwa mahali ingeachwa wapi Wacha vile walisema kwamba uhuru Kenyatta aliacha Kenya ikiwa haina chochote sasa kama uhuru William Ruto ndiyo angekuwa rais kutoka 2013 mpaka 2022 unafikiri Kenya ingekuwa imebaki na nini si kila kitu kingekuwa kimeuzwa alafu hakuna maendeleo yangekuwa kwa sababu si kama ni mtu wa maendeleo tungekuwa tunaanza kuona uh, development kufikia sasa lakini loan zinachukuliwa mpaka India hmm? mpaka anachukua loan kutoka kwa wa India hmm? so kuna mtu ambaye alikuwa ameuliza swali moja anauliza kama William Samoe Ruto anachukua loan mpaka kwa wa India hmm? hata wakati wa uhuru Kenyatta ambaye alikuwa anasemekana kwamba alikuwa anapenda loans hakuna wakati hakuna siku alienda kuchukua loan kwa Wahindi na so huyo mkenya alikuwa anasema kwamba huyu William Ruto sasa kile ambacho kimebakia ni aende kuomba loans South Sudan hmm. kwa sababu yeye anawaza tu loan 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 ambayo alikuwa anayopinga kabisa wakati wa campaign so sasa hivi yeye ndio anachukua loan kila mahali ambapo wanaenda hata hmm. si uh, uh, Uenda ikawa wakati William Ruto anasafiri kuelekea huku hizi safari zake ambazo amekuwa akisafiri kuna loan nyingi ambazo amezichukua lakini hajaambia wa Kenya. Ulisikia Rigathi Gashagwa akisema kwamba kuna mambo kuna pesa mingi wamepewa za msaada huko nje lakini hawataki kusema kwa sababu ya waandishi wa habari wasiwachafulie jina. Hmm. Unakumbuka Gashagwa expose mambo kama hayo. So uenda ikawa William Ruto amechukua loan nyingi sana mwisho wa siku tutaona watu wanakuja wanasema kwamba hii Kenya ni yetu tokeni <laughs> anyway ni e, mchezo tu sijui lakini ukweli ni kwamba William Musamoe Ruto anaendelea kuuza kila kitu uliona juzi alipeana eka ngapi kuna eka zingine sijui zilikuwa ngapi ambazo alizipeana pale Mau Forest eti sijui kampuni ya sijui France ni kampuni hata sikumbuki sasa amepeana tena hapa uh, eka na moja kubwa kuliko Nairobi National Park anyway Sijui kuna maoni gani mtazamaji wangu na nadhani kwamba sasa hivi magavana, maseneta, senators, MPs, MCS, ala watu, watu ambao wako Kenya kwanza na azimio la umoja wanafaa kuungana pamoja kuhakikisha kwamba Kenya haijapelekwa mahali pabaya kwa sababu ikienda mahali pabaya 
wewe seneta wewe governor wewe MC wewe MP ndio tutakulaumu kwa sababu wewe ndio ulikuwa unafaa kumwambia William Ruto ukweli vile seneta wa kaunti ya Nyeri amemwambia William Samoe Ruto pamoja na Kashagwa si ndio kwa hivyo mambo yakiharibika si wewe wewe seneta wewe governor wewe MP wewe MCA ndio utakuja kukuuliza kwa sababu wewe ndio ulikuwa na nafasi nzuri ya kumwambia William Ruto asikie Hebu niachie maoni yako hapo chini katika sehemu ya comment section lakini pia usisahau kujiunga na familia kwa kusubscribe na kutano notification bell ili huwa kwanza kupata habari zetu. Kwa sasa bye bye.